And here are the cobs left over from Thursday's production. This corn got knocked down by something, plus it's not doing very good. The potatoes in this area are all dying, so they should be harvested soon. And here are the pole beans. Due to the deer eating all the leaves that would have been here, they're not doing so good this year. And this is the catch of the day with regards to the blackberries. It has been a very sparse year for blackberries. And here is the catch of the day with regards to the coal beans. And here is the squash area. Unfortunately, somebody decided to start munching squash ahead of time. And here is the pumpkin area. And apparently the deer decided they wanted to eat pumpkins early. What a mildly interesting idea is this is for my grandniece and we carved her name in the pumpkin before it gets to be carving time. And this potato area has been pretty well harvested. I did a lot of corn picking last Thursday. And I'll be picking some more tonight. And we'll get to see the catch of the day with regards to the corn. I just husk it out in the field area and then I throw the husks on the ground. This potato area has more or less all been harvested and this corn area was attacked by who knows what. Interestingly they knocked all the corn down but they didn't eat anything. The husks you see on the ground were ones that I harvested last Saturday, Thursday. And here is the one cucumber area. And here is the other cucumber area. And in fact, there are cucumbers forming. Some have already been harvested. And this is the main potato area, which is somewhat in harvest. And here is the tomato area. And this is the catch of the day with regards to the tomatoes. And here is the catch of the day with regards to the corn. On Thursday I picked twice as much.